What if I told you that in the grand scheme of things, nothing we do truly matters? This idea, at first glance, might seem heartbreaking, a bleak outlook on life that leaves us questioning our purpose. Yet, there lies a surprisingly liberating philosophy known as optimistic nihilism, a perspective that embraces this universal insignificance and turns it into our greatest strength. Finding meaning in the meaningless may sound like a paradox, yet, it could be the key to a life of authenticity and joy. One that if followed properly can save most of your problems in life. At the core of traditional nihilism lies a profound question. What if all of our beliefs, values and morals are inherently without meaning? This philosophy, which first came from the beliefs of existentialism, suggests that life, lacking intrinsic purpose, leaves us in a world with existential uncertainty. Traditional nihilism paints a sharp picture, stating how the constructs of society, morality, or even our personal aspirations and goals are nothing but figments in a meaningless universe. Imagine, for a moment, you're holding a blank canvas, representing your life, and society hands you brushes and palettes filled with supposed meanings and purposes. Traditional nihilism comes along and wipes the canvas clean, questioning the authenticity of these colors and the necessity of the painting itself. But this isn't where the story ends. The realization that the canvas is blank doesn't lead to despair for everyone. For some, it's the beginning of true artistic freedom. This is where optimistic nihilism steps in. It looks at the empty canvas and sees endless possibilities. It tells us, yes, the universe might be indifferent and life inherently meaningless, but it's precisely in this void that we're free to create our own purpose. In this transition from skepticism to freedom, we get a sense of optimistic nihilism. As we move beyond the views of existential despair, a new, more uplifting philosophy awaits. One that leads to happiness, one that pursues us towards the freedom to infuse our lives with our own chosen meaning. Initially, the recognition that life lacks inherent meaning can feel like an anchor, dragging each one of us into the depths of existential despair. But what if, instead of an anchor, this realization is the key that unlocks the chains that bind us to societal expectations and prescribed meanings? Consider for a moment a world without predefined paths, where every road is an invention of your own making. This is the perception of optimistic nihilism. It acknowledges the same truths as traditional nihilism, which is the absence of inherent purpose and the meaningless universe, but it chooses to view these truths not as a sentence to despair, but as a liberation from it. Optimistic nihilism doesn't dismiss the value of life. Rather, it challenges us to infuse life with our own crafted values and meanings. It's about taking the blank canvas of existence and, instead of lamenting its emptiness, embracing it as an opportunity to paint our own masterpiece, and bound by the traditional guidelines of what life's painting should look like. In other terms, we live our lives by how we want to, not how we're expected or forced to by other people. It transitions our question about life from why does anything matter to it matters because I choose to make it so. Optimistic nihilism starts with a provocative premise, that is, the blank slate of existence. Picture life as an open field or an untouched canvas. This perspective doesn't see emptiness, but potential. A space where we are the architects and are in control are of our own meaning, allowing us to craft our narratives and construct our own lives. Much like an artist facing a blank canvas with a palette full of colors, having the creativity and ability to draw whatever he wishes. This example of artistic freedom leads us to autonomy and freedom, the second pillar of optimistic nihilism. With no preordained paths or fixed fates, we find ourselves being able to navigate the waters of life going wherever we wish. In a universe silent about our fates and dreams, we become the authors of our own stories. Embracing impermanence naturally follows. In optimistic nihilism, or really in any philosophy, we all have a limited amount of time we get to live in this world. Although it can be upsetting, this awareness can create an urge for us to seize the day and cherish the beauty of life. 
Even the simple moments, like going for a coffee, it is about celebrating the now, finding both depth and joy in the time we get to exist. Finally, radical acceptance ties these principles together, encouraging us to embrace life's uncertainties and the universe's chaos with open arms, to be glad everything happened and to accept the fact it did, to see such events as tools allowing us to grow and discover new aspects of life. Optimistic nihilism doesn't just float in the realm of abstract philosophy. Instead, it occurs in our daily existence, influencing how we approach life's myriad challenges and joys. At its core, optimistic nihilism celebrates the immense freedom we have in crafting our lives. Each day presents a spectrum of choices, from the mundane to the monumental. This philosophy empowers us to make decisions that resonate with our self-crafted values and meanings rather than being affected by societal pressures or inherited beliefs. It is in these moments of choice that we truly embody the philosophy of optimistic nihilism. When embracing this side of nihilism, we must understand that life's inherent meaninglessness isn't a verdict, but a starting point for the making of personal purpose that helps us navigate setbacks and failures with a more balanced perspective. It's the realization that in the grand scheme of things, our troubles are nothing but a speck, which can be incredibly liberating and grounding in the face of adversity. In this philosophy, it is believed that the beauty of life should encourage us to savor the present. This mindfulness, the appreciation of the now, enriches our daily experiences, allowing us to find joy in simple pleasures and the beauty of existence itself. In this context, Friedrich Nietzsche's famous assertion he who has a why to live can bear almost any how, resonates deeply with the ethos of optimistic nihilism. Nietzsche, often associated with the foundations of nihilism, also hinted at the liberation it offers, urging us to find our why amidst the chaos. This message echoes through optimistic nihilism, serving as a reminder that even in a universe devoid of inherent meaning, we have the power to create our own why infusing our lives with purpose and direction. Optimistic nihilism offers a refreshing perspective on life. It teaches us that the absence of predestined meaning doesn't confine us. Rather, it frees us to construct our own meanings, to find joy in the act of living and resilience in the face of adversity. In the grand, indifferent tapestry of the cosmos, our lives are brief, flickering flames if you will. But within these ephemeral moments lies the power to overcome this darkness, to craft beauty from the void, and to live with a sense of purpose we define for ourselves. This is the gift of optimistic nihilism, the freedom to create, to love, and to live fully even with the emptiness of the universe.